Hey guys, um, I'm just doing a quick video here to show off my hopper bell company that turned into an army. Um, like, I think it was August was when I sort of posted about, my, about beginning the army and, well, beginning the battle company, that was I think before I'd even got to the stage where I was like, I'm going to collect an army. Um, but, but yeah, yeah, so it's gone from a, uh, just a plan for a whole battle company to a 300 point army actually. Um, so if you look at the uh, look at the front here, these are twelve hobbits. Uh, you know enough guys to to make the starting battle company. You'll notice that actually in the middle here, I've got Farmer Maggot. Now he's going to be my leader. Uh, like the idea of my battle company is going to be that like it's a uh, Farmer Maggot when he was younger, because you don't really. Know, I mean, there's nothing really um, mentioned in Tolkien's work about what he did when he was younger, but we know he knows Tom Bombadil and stuff. So I think it'd be quite interesting if he, you know, went off and had all these interesting adventures and something like that. It could be quite good fun to play. Um, and so uh, part of the Cabal Company is quite a few converted chaps, um, including, say, like this Sam, this guy here, who was from the Plastic Fellowship, but I've conferred him up. So um, I'm quite happy because pretty much every miniature in my army is like really look, it's looking really unique. Um, there's a couple of uh, sculpts where I've got them twice and uh, the most obvious one's been that person there with the axe uh, see there we go um, and you might notice that actually I've got a couple of um, uh, Frodo sculpts um, that I've converted up into the hobbits that was just kind of accidental I bought a load of stuff off eBay to make this battle company and it just happened that both times I bought hobbits they came with i think i bought the four you know so frodo sam mary um pippin from the you know the old old metal fellowship and they came with a spare frodo and then when i bought the um the three plastic fellowship hobbits it didn't come with the plastic frodo it came with another frodo um so yeah so i can fit them up and i'm quite i'm quite actually quite pleased with how they look i think i've managed to make them pretty unique um as you also know so i've actually Painted them with quite quite dark complexions. Um, I just thought it'd be interesting to make them look look even less like Hobbit, like a, like Frodo. Um, and you know, like <clears throat> it's mentioned that there are some Hobbits that, as the stores tend to be darker than than the than the, than the others. I mean, it might mean like you know they're more Mediterranean. That probably doesn't mean that they're like you know you know proper proper dark skin, but. At the end of the day, it's, it's fantasy. There's nothing stopping me from doing it, from painting that way. Um, so that's the way I painted it up. There's no other reason than I thought it would just add some more, div you know, more diversity, make my models look more unique. Um, so, yeah. So if you look at the start of the battle come here, you've got my archers. Um, so, right. So obviously I've already said that Farm Maggot's going to be my leader. Well, this conversion of Sam here is uh, the mysterious hobbit, hobbit known as known only as Chef. He is the chief victilla of the um, of the battle company, so you know, there's a very important role for hobbits. You know, he keeps them fed. Um, and then I'm thinking of this chappy here is probably going to be my other sergeant, um, which you know he's got a hammer. I'm gonna say like the you know the blacksmith. You know, so he's in charge of keeping their weapons in good nick. That makes sense. I think you need someone like that in a in a battle company. Um, so and if we look okay, back there. We've got Farmer Maggot's dogs, um, which is quite cool because hobbits can take dogs in their battle company, so I'm going to be using them definitely in the battle company. But also, when I come to run it as a full army, uh, I can I can run I can run Farmer Maggot and his dogs, so that'd be quite handy. Um, and then at the back, I've got some sheriffs or sheriffs. Um, yeah, I, I mean, in the book, Tolkien says that the only thing to really you know, their only real piece of uniform is, is a white feather. But I decided that I would paint the sort of like the trousers and the coats to be a similar sort of colour and the hats to be the same colour, just to give them a bit more of a uniform look. Uh, more to separate them from the rest of the army because as you can see, you know, it's a huge like mix of colours and I've tried to make every hobbit look unique. But I was like, oh, sheriffs, they're, you know, they're kind of like, they've got like a, a thick sort of role. So I'm like, I want them to look a bit more uniform. Anyway, so if we go over here, we will see at the fr at the front here my the two oldest the two hobbits I've had in my collection for a very long time. I I got these two many many Christmases ago. Um, I mean, 
I stopped playing Middle Earth about eight years ago before coming back into it this year, and so I've had those oh, well over eight years, maybe ten, possibly possibly longer. Um, but as you can see, they are not as well painted as the rest of, rest of the army, but I'm still quite happy with them, to be honest, considering that, you know, I painted them such a long time ago. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's that's Pippin there. Sorry, that's Mary there, and that's Pippin. Um, I'll try not to, to, to handle Pippin too much at the moment because I've just had to re-glue him back into his base. Um, it keeps coming loose for, like, years. Um, and then I'll bring to the fore here. As you can see, these guys are much, much better painted. And um, that's because I painted them over the summer. But that's Sam and Frodo. Um, so, you know, that's just... It's, I mean, yeah, as I said, they're, they're part of my fellowship. So that's why their base is so different. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things I'm, I'm going to use them for this army. I don't know how often I'll run a Hobbit army anyway. Mostly I'll probably run it as an allied detachment because it's only about 300 points. Um, and unless, you know, I'm only playing a really small game, uh, I just, I don't have the patience or really the money to, uh, to build a full, a full, like, army of hobbits. Like, I just, I like what I've got now, but I don't really want more. <laughs> um, yeah, but I think it would be fun to, like, you know, maybe get some rangers or something, because I think you can also, you can have a hobbit army where you can run rangers or just ally them with rangers of the north or ally them with my Gondorian army, which I'm building at the moment, or something like that. Or even ally them with my, with my dwarf army, that could be quite cool. That could be quite fun to ally them with my dwarf army. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, obviously I'm not going to take these guys to any tournaments or anything. Um, these will just be for, more for fun. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, the main most of this is really for running battle companies because in fact I think the limit for hobbits is 25 models so I've got 12 there another two so yeah so if you remove like uh, Sam, Frodo, Merry and Pippin I could literally run every hobbit I've got there as part of a battle company um, if you know if I got that far um, obviously if you're having a big campaign um, I might get to the point where I am adding all, in all these guys because um you can take sheriffs later on in the battle companies, I believe, but I think they're on the reinforcements chart. Um, and, I, and the other thing is, I, I could always, I could always upgrade these guys um, to the Battle and Brandy books and Turkish Hunters um, by putting them into Merry or Pippin's um, war bands. Because I mean, they've both got the I think they're Valor, so they'd be able to take fifteen each. Um, so you know, there's, there's plenty enough space for me to be able to take them into their war bands and upgrade them for an extra point. Um, could always pay for war, for war horns. I think there's a couple of my little hobbit archers have got them moulded on. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, like there's definitely, definitely uh, ways I could add a bit more pointage. In fact, if I have run that, so that's another 30, I could be getting nearly 400 points out of this army, actually. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe I just have to buy a couple more hobbits just to make sure that it definitely is 400. Um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, like, like I said, I'm quite happy with this. I, I've really, really done something different with the basing as well. I'm really happy with the bases with all the little flowers. Um, it's meant to be Heather. I wanted to go for sort of like a Barrow Downs look. Um, and I, yeah, I quite like, I quite like the look that, you know, got the hobbits and, you know, the idea that they could become bursting from out of the heather and be like, ah, a hobbit ambush. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very different. I'm normally a very minimalist when it comes to basin. Um, so it's a, it's a big thing for me taking so much time and it's, I think it's going to be something I'm going to do as I go onwards is just really, really focus on getting my basin game up. Just make that, you know, have all these armies, really cool bases. Um, my minus Tirith army is something I'm working on. I'm basically making because I'm going to have it based as a like you know Os I'm retaking the Osgiliath army, so I'm going to use use chopped sprue to make lots of like bricks and like broken down walls and cobble flooring and things like that. And that's gonna I think that's gonna be it's gonna be a long long process because I've got something like sixty warriors of minus Tirith that all need fixing, and I'm going to convert some into other units as well. My plan with that Minus Earth army is I'm basically not going to buy any more models for it. I'm just going to do purely conversions. Um, but yeah, that'll be for another video, I think. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching.